I can have anything that I want All my life is like a movie I paint pigs with these songs on Now we making history The Lambo, not no charity We making moves, we overseas I'm on top, you is under me Yeah, uh, yeah I be making moves, yeah I be making moves The traffic in New York City Making its way back and forth Between Manhattan and the Borough of Brooklyn Our setting tonight Welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And now the Lakers starting to look. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green is out there with Brent. And it's Howard in at the five spot. And for Brooklyn, we've got Wilson Chandler. Irving is out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Durant. And it's Jordan in at the center position. Adjusting to the NBA game for this latest class of rookies, Doris. Always growing pains, a, a feeling out process. There um, are, it's always interesting to watch that being put together. There are, Kev. There always seem to be a couple of welcome to the NBA moments as a rookie. <laughs> Certainly, you might take your lumps here and there, but this is a talented young group. Can't wait to see what they do. I can't even. Hey, hey, now, here is Irvin. That's the three fly. Rebounded by Howard. And it's Bradley with the ball for Los Angeles. The time they met was in Los Angeles. And they lost a close one last time they saw each other. And you have to think that it was the foul trouble that really kept them from getting the win. Yeah, some of their starters had to take an early seat on the bench, and that ruined the rhythm and flow they were trying to establish. So good from Avery Bradley. Well, Kevin, how about the remarkable improvement of Avery Bradley over time? Once strictly a dominant defender, this guy can make threes. He can drive the lane. There isn't an aspect of the game where he hasn't grown. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. The Nets had to be so judicious and so smart with every move they made because they did not have top draft selections. So you have to use cap space to acquire picks. They had to find sleepers in the draft. They had to find players who were probably undervalued and then develop those players. This is an organization that used every tool at their disposal. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. The old drives in, and Davis sends it back. Out of bounds. He's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensive. And Doris, the Nets showed they could manufacture a rebuild. Kevin, what the Nets did was not easy. But to me, it shows you exactly how critical the quality of office person is to the success of an organization. And the Nets were on point throughout the process. Boy, you talk about the all-time great below-the-rim finishers. Kyrie Irving is on that list. He can use either hand. So much English. This guy is tough. That's good from Irving. The inner Doris has greatest score as he is. Kyrie Irving doesn't draw a ton of fun. Kevin, I think that has everything to do with his elusivity. This is a young man who can finish with either hand, can get separation on any defender. This is the one thing you'd say about Kyrie Irving. He does not initiate contact around the rim. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Remarkable work from Kyrie. Ridiculously crafty and how he gets into the defense and draws the foul. I'm John Rondo's checked in for Bradley. That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Well, think about the Nets, Kenny Atkinson, a finalist last season for NBA Coach of the Year. This young coach got a well-deserved contract extension. And what I love is this team competes at a high level every night. 
Now here's Howard. Just five on the clock. Here's LeBron. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Six points for LeBron. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Outside, KD. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on LeBron James. Well, Kevin Durant is used to absorbing contact on the way up, and when he's this deep, it really puts the defense in a bind. First one falls for him. And doors to think about how hard this Brooklyn team competes. I think they take right after their head coach. I don't think there's any doubt, Kevin. Coach Atkinson is still willing to get on the court and jump into rather or get. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. It's LeBron with the drive. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Now don't give LeBron James a lane to the hoop because he will be ruthless in his attack. Takes advantage any time he sees daylight. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Morris comes in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for LeBron. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Green. He is shot as good. He ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives last to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the City of Angels. Whichever team you root for, LA fans put a lot to celebrate. Here's Rondo after the main shot from KD. Inside. The shot's good from McGee. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Irving against Rondo. Irving drives in. Looks on D that time there from McGee. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And part of an overall effort for Contavious going for higher percentage shots. So that time working inside. Chandler and Wilson Chandler with the slam. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves now, right there, guys. Get through, get through. Now here's Rondo. No points in the game meant for him. is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch, no matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. Teardrop shot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two. And folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Post game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And the announcement on the review is that the foul oh, was called in it. So they had to put the to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's called about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. For the finish, and Chris Brook. Now, here's Thomas. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Veal last for two. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. And if you 
you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. When he first came into the NBA, many thought Bradley Beal would be a mostly catch and shoot shooting guard. But this guy is proven. He can definitely shoot. Caruso kicks to Howard. Has contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And with Beal doors, he's been more aggressive at attacking the rim. And Kevin, it's worked out for him because he's gotten to the line more, and that allows you to become a consistent scoring presence. Boy, the dynamic nature of Beal's offensive game has really elevated. Now here's Thomas. It's Beal on the wing. And Davis sends it back. Looking for an opening. This is to Davis. That's his second shot and his second basket. No way he's going to let him get off a clean look at the basket. Here's James. It's good. LeBron's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. Yeah, they're going to have a team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Durant, good. And Harris gets the assist. Nine points for KD. And we are talking about Anthony Davis. How do you even put into words what he is able to do on the basketball field? I mean, he's entering the conversation among the best big men of all time. On a nightly basis, dominating in so many facets. and make the sharp pass to the rim. Bradley passes to Howard. One fifty-seven left in the second quarter. Godwell Pope against here. They grab their own miss. Howard, that's good. Howard's got four points in the quarter. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the back door. That's a great way to find confidence. It's always a sure far way to get back to the Don't you love how decisive Kevin Durant is on the offensive end? He doesn't think twice before he lifts from long range. He has to call Will Pope. James outside. Here's Davis. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off off. Watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Now we get a chance to check out Kevin Durant. He's coming off an excellent season. Eighth in scoring. And he was top ten in free throw percentage. Did not waste opportunities to convert at the line. And back to his points per game average last year. He literally propped up the team's offense whenever they needed. Now James following the three-point attempt by Anthony Davis. The kick out to LeBron. Loads it up for Davis. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Looking for his guys. The court vision unreal. Bradley against Irving. There's 39 seconds left here in the second. Here the step back. Harris. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists now in this one. Kyrie Irving doing work with the pass. That's pretty. James, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Los Angeles making a switch here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Keith Morris comes in for Anthony Davis. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Brent. And it's Green in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Free throw good, LeBron. I think what amazes me about LeBron James is that he never stops pushing. This guy is pursuing greatness. Now, here is Irving. Ten points for him. 
12 no, seconds no, left in the first half of the game. Again, the Nets for two. for the first half of action what's been a very close game here Lakers on top up five able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet it's been a clinic out there by James you, you just love the patience in that first half waited until he got the look he wanted you know as a coach you can preach good shot selection but it's up to the players to execute and this guy has done just that as a player coach now broadcaster who has been your favorite to watch or cover or report on. All right, Kevin, you know I can't possibly name one, so I'm going to just throw several names out there. LeBron James has overcome so many challenges as a young person even before his NBA career. So his, his story is absolutely incredible and inspirational. That one on Davis. Well, DeAndre Jordan making his presence felt at the offensive end. Nice. And he makes the first. And so Jordan nails both of them. that they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Outside, Neal. Serving against Bradley. Chandler outside. To the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. And Durant gets it to go. Because of increased strength and physical ability, able to absorb contact and play through it. LeBron against KD. Green inside the three-point line. Yes, it's James Pickett. He can make shots when he's open. You can plug him in at a couple of different positions. So much to like about Danny Green. Next trail by five. Chandler goes in. Durant trying to break through. Chandler's shot. Good. Chandler's got four points this quarter. The Lakers have gone three to five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. James against Durant. Pass to Davis. James throws it down hard. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. On the trade for Anthony Davis, a risk for the Lakers, but they feel, Greg, that both sides will find an extension this offseason. There is mutual interest from both sides. Here's Rondo to the paint. Here's Davis. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call. Brooklyn the foul. You have to remember, the Nets surrendered their draft pick every year for five straight years. Between the years 2013, 2018. How they turned that into a playoff run last year, one of the great stories in the league. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And Doris, you're right, those picks you're referring to surrendered by the Nets in their 2013 trade with the Celtics. Six here in this quarter. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. 
Rondo against Thomas. The pass to Harris. And the Nets, another three. That's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Rondo drives in. Hook loose. Kicks it to Waiters. Here's Davis. Kept alive. Here's McGee. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. It's a one-point game. Chris, a stupendous finishing track. This is what you want from Marquise Chris, right? Battling inside, challenge the defense. Nice work. Morris, left side. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. And a four-year player at Baylor, Torian Prince, something of a surprise. Lottery pick back in 2016. But Greg, he's become a very valuable player. You know, he, he's one of those two-way power wings that, that it seems every team wants. A dependable three-point marksman who holds his own defensively. So he gets them both. Passes to Rondo. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. Up high to stop the alley-oop. Yeah, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. Ruben shot is good. the floor. If a floater, the putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Right down to the last shot. On its way from Irving for two. Again, the Nets for two. Well, you know that Kyrie is going to be looking for a shot in that situation. It isn't hard for him to find one ever, it seems. Here's Rondo. Banked in off the glass. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full Moving against Run. And again, Kyrie Irving. Irving's got six points in the quarter. For Los Angeles, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Los Angeles calls timeout. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Boy, much needed. have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Boom, he jams it straight down. Well, don't sleep on Avery's athleticism, right? Terrific at finishing these opportunities with force. Irving surveying the floor. It's stolen by Davis. Ball's not loose. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. That's good from Davis on the assist by Bradley. And now a three-point Los Angeles lead. Well, Kev, that's the court vision of Avery Bradley. Remarkable how he finds these wide-open teammates on a consistent basis. Here's Beal. Green with the block. Here's James. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. Time out. Time out. Almost seems unfair gentlemen to have a guy as strong five, five, as five, LeBron five, five, be able to handle the ball the way he does. Now a timeout goal. Off the run. No good from Irving. Lakers leading by five. Here's Davis. Good and the assist goes to James. Davis has got 11 in the second half. Second half. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. I think you know that Kyrie Irving has such great love and passion for the game of basketball. This guy is on fire to get better. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. 
LeBron passes to Howard. Rebound, Brooklyn. Boy, that's what he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Boy, what wonderful vision. Kevin Durant with a picture-perfect pass. Bradley with the bounce pass. Fade. And it's sent back by PD. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Green dishes to Bradley. And that one is good. And the Lakers lead by five. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. It's Prince on the wing. Off target with his three. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting it very well tonight, around 57%. And it's Davis with the chance. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Deal, that's the two. Pulls it. outside and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up to be a solid win for Los Angeles. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and a look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Anthony Davis. Boy, forget about his stats for a second, right? What impressed me most was his stamina. It seemed like he was involved in every play. And with that kind of activity, I don't know how you don't wear down. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Both free throws good for Davis. There's the triple. They get it again. Back to Durant. Fires from deep. Buries the long range jumper. Boy, do not fall asleep on Kevin Durant. Catch and shoot. Forget about it. Here is Davis. So the Lakers take the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Yeah, really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony, this was a win where you guys looked like you were confident and understood that you really can win every time out. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, coming into every game, we think we can win each game, and we definitely believe that. You know, we got to go out there and fight every game, you know, hustle, um, our energy, our defense, and you know, we're going to fight for the rest of the season. Looking good out there right now, Anthony. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. 
Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olin, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Stay to stay, yeah, going back to bank, yeah, up so check the ranks, yeah, I'll meet you out of place, yeah, yeah, uh, I don't play like Sony, I got scars like Tony, pull away into a horse, no pony, these niggas cap, these niggas phony, I am a winner, so where's my trophy, niggas beginners,